What is up YouTube? How is everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous freaking day. We have my new employee Chandler right here putting a turbo system on a 5th gen Camaro. Three days. It's actually his 5th gen Camaro. And uh, it's from Huron Speed, guys. Link down in the description. You don't want to miss the startup at the end of this video, so don't click out of it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get this hey, video rolling. You guys can win this car. Just buy the merch down below. That car is not for raffle. <laughs> I mean, who cares? It's not my car, so <laughs> fuck the full set, right? Who cares, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys, let's get to the video. So today we are putting on this Huron Speed turbo system, this single turbo system. Did a little unboxing. Chandler actually did a little unboxing review video on it in uh, one of my past videos. And he ended up towing the car down here. It's obviously completely apart. There's no headers, no exhaust. In the past, he had a stupid single rear mounted setup that went back in the back with an intercooler in the back and fans. It was cool. It was cool. It was different, but it definitely was not what this car needed. It, it didn't release the potential it had. Definitely not. So I ended up talking to him and I said, yo, why don't you just rip that servo system off and why don't we just go with a really, really nice Huron Speed turbo system? I think it's pronounced right, Huron Speed? Huron. Huron? Huron? If it's not pronounced right, just comment below, let me know. But it should be pronounced right. So like I said, he got his car towed down here last night, had it sitting outside the door. We pushed in this morning. Um, I'm not going to be installing this kit. Chandler's actually going to be installing this kit. Yeah. He's just, he's just renting the lift, basically. Yeah, basically. I've got other things to do. I've got two cars I got to get ready for the dyno, a whole bunch of other shit that I got to do, so I'm not going to be helping him. I might stop over every now and again and see how he's doing. You got to get Cletus' shirts. Oh, Cletus. Caution, right foot breaks shit. <laughs> facts. Facts. <laughs> So basically, what Chandler's doing right now is just cleaning up everything, but it's pretty a, pretty much a straightforward install. You know, bolt the headers in, um, you know, put the exhaust on, put the hot side on, bolt the turbo down. I mean, it's not gonna be, dude. No. It's not gonna be hard at all. No, no it's not. Gonna not gonna the be hardest part is probably gonna pull the bumper, the front bumper. Oh, that's easy too. You can do that right now. Pull the bumper, man. So. Shit. Other than that, nope, we're good. Yeah, so he's gonna get started on this. I'm gonna check up with him periodically here every you know half an hour or so, and we'll get some footage of what he's done along the way. I set up the time lapse. And if yeah, on. maybe I'll even set up a time lapse with my other GoPro because I have two, my five. I can put my five on there, and I got a 64 gig card for that. It works again. It was okay. my five was having issues. It was corrupting the SD card, but now it works. So I can set that one up and just have it boom, and you can just move it around wherever you want. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. All right, what stage are we at here, buddy? Headers. Gotta take them back off. <laughs> well, this one, this one's in, so that's pretty good. Um, that you're, missing, you're missing a bolt. <laughs> yeah, no. Some of it. You're definitely gonna have to wrap this with heat wrap here, and then this side is really tight over here, but that's fine. Yeah. That just needs to be. There's a lot of wiring and stuff you're gonna have to really like wrap and everything in there to make sure it uh, doesn't burn your wiring to shit. Cause that would suck donkey yeah i'm only about an hour and 20 minutes in so yeah yeah i can't wait to start welding it all together welding it all together yeah with my new my new tig what are you welding i'm gonna weld your headers to your flanges i'm gonna weld it all together and i'm gonna weld your flanges to your whole engine i'm doing it all no yeah <laughs> tungsten the shit out of this thing man <laughs> it's gonna be a good time not for me if i have to take it back apart <laughs> yeah <laughs> Little update. What do we got going on here, buddy? Intercoolers mounted, towers mounted. Just finishing the gold. Let's take a look. Look at that. Look at that. Race car. Dang, is this thing gonna run today? Yes, it is. Get the heck out of here. Hey, we're wrong. Hey, there's no. Look at all the piping you have left. 
Really? <laughs> One pipe? <laughs> One, that's enough. Yeah. How do you feel about this uh, intercooler mounting bracket setup? Uh, so far, I'm having issues with this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, that should hmm. put it over a way to clock it and actually get it in there. Ah, I see, though. I think I might have to notch You might have this. to notch that out. But that, it's that's also not hidden that... up here. Oh, is it? Why don't you maybe... I can hmm. loosen these I was and gonna try to move it over a little. Can but... you move it down at all, or is it not going to no, move it down? No, that's where it mounts to. That's just, that is what yeah, it that's, is, that's huh? That's what it is. So I'm going to try to loosen these Yeah, you these might need, top. might just need, I would, what I would do, honestly, is I would cut this piece completely out of here because yeah. that that's gonna free up a lot of room. Take this whole thing out right mm -hmm. here, this whole sliver, and you will you should have enough to clear that and get in here and at least band clamp it past the lip. Yep. I think that's what you need to do. A little modification, not that big of a deal, no. but other than that, I mean it's pretty it's much together, dude. Except for your downpipe, yeah, your headers are on, your freaking mm -hmm. your headers are all tightened up. Yep, the headers are all tightened. Yeah, up. headers are on. Freaking crossover pipes, turbos on. I mean you can't go wrong, dude. That's real like, simple. It's straightforward. Yeah, it's pretty much straightforward. Man, look at that. Look at that up pipe. Oh, that's one. Man, look at that. Look at, dude, it's going to look so cool with the blow off valve on it right here. Oh, yeah. Dude, it is going to yeah. look awesome. Yeah, and, this guy and then you got to figure out what you're going to do with that guy there. I hope I can get it right. There. What Honestly, what I would do is I put it all over here on this side. Yeah. I'd make a bracket somehow and put it on this side and just have it hang right in between your fuse box. And your uh, your um, low valve is what I do. Yeah, for right now. I mean, it looks like if you just reverse the lines, it it can be on this side if you reverse those two lines. Yeah, yeah. you know, looking good. Don't drop your phone. Yeah, man, sturdy shit. Mm -hmm. Ain't no joke. Ain't no thing about chicken wing. Yeah, let's get her done. Well, you, you're well, getting, it getting it done. I'm busy yeah, doing shit. Busy doing the viewers are just watching the build go on, and we have Zach over here as well. Zach is lapping his Honda valves. Guys, I should have bought an F body Camaro. Does this make you happy? Are you satisfied with your life? Oh God! Little update. All we had to do is move the intercooler over to get that pipe to fit and we had to cut and we had to cut a little bit of that metal off that little thing you got to cut that off but once you cut that off and then you move the intercooler over as far as it goes that pipe goes in no problem yep. with no issues whatsoever so very easy fix or a very thing easy thing to address just, it's all about fitment basically yeah it's all about fitment we are back at it ladies and gentlemen what's up buddy what's up it was a late night last night for um, you, wasn't it? Wasn't right. it? So, here's the thing. Oh, like, oh, here's, here's the thing. The turbo kit is beautiful. It Great is. design everything. The hardest part is removing the oil pan. <laughs> so, what were your two options for I removing the oil, three oil pan? Options. Oh, three options. Okay, three, three options. options. Option one, remove the engine. Not happening. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'm, I'm glad you're doing this and not me, man. Yeah, I'm doing other shit. <laughs> Drop the cane member. Not happening. That was an option. It, it was an option. It was an option. But remind, to remove the cane member in this is six hours just to remove. Well, for you, maybe eight or nine. Yeah, enough. And I don't drive that time or time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> option number three, what most people do is come on underneath here, cut the cross member. So if you guys don't know, that cross member goes right there. Right, well, that oh, backwards there, yeah. yeah. So if you cut that cross member out, jack the engine up a little bit, you can actually get your oil pan out in order to drill the return line for your turbo system, which is sitting up there, which looks spiffy. And that's what he's been doing. Yeah, so. So he's been working on this, dropping the oil pan, getting everything situated here. And uh, he's ready to drill. So basically I've got the tap, he's got the drill. He's gonna drill his side hole. And then uh, I have my tank over there. You can clean the oil pan out nice and neat. Yep. I would definitely recommend taking out your windows tray as well. But just like remove Just to remove it and clean everything out oh, real okay, good. Yeah, that yeah. way there, any metal that's in there is well, good. Windows tray's right here. There, that's a windows tray as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that way you can get all the metal out. But yeah, guys, so if you're doing a fifth gen Camaro and you're doing one of these Huron Speed Turbo Systems, 
you're gonna have to drill the oil pan unless you've already got an oil pan uh, that has a drill in it but you know or, or bung in it which you probably don't but regardless this is the easiest way the simplest way to drop the oil pan some of the bolts are a pain he has to get to but he got it and he's not even a mechanic now before people say oh you messed up the frame this that, that. no i cut the welds right where they were i'm a welder I can weld it right back. He says he's a welder. Hey, I've been welding for <laughs> 10 years. So yes, he will be welding this cross member back in. And if you have a buddy that has a welder or anything of that nature, they could easily, you know, weld, you know, that seam back together and, and put that brace in. And that's even if you want to put it in. You really don't necessarily need to put it back in if you don't want no, to, no, honestly. You, uh, you know, you already got a strut brace right there that's on top you got a strut brace and you got that uh yeah and you, well you brace. got a double brace too you got your brace here you yep. got your brace there and yes the engineers thought they knew what they were doing but they're idiots too so yep we love engineers here oh, don't we, we at, at dfr they're beautiful they Thanks, are aren't people. they they are they are so he's gonna go ahead and drill that and um and literally like that's it button yeah, everything up button everything up and uh you guys are gonna be seeing the final product here he's gonna put his uh, rest of his downpipe on and his, his, his exhaust, where'd you get your exhaust from? Speed engineering. Speed engineering, exhaust system, dual tip setup. It's gonna look sweet, guys. This Huron speed system is going to look sweet. I'm super excited. I'm sure you're I'm, super excited I'm to drive this ready. thing. Yeah, I'm ready. And then we're gonna be dyno tuning it. Yep. So, I'm just gonna come here, so. Uh, get to work, Chandler. Okay. So, pans back up, drain is drilled. He is now running his uh, drain line right here. And um, we had to definitely cut I will say this about the line. We had to cut a good, I don't know, you know, six inches off of the thing and had to redo it, which is no big deal per application, obviously. So he's uh, putting the line in right now. And we're very, very close to startup. Yeah. Very, very close to startup. Very, very close. You're doing a great job, Chandler. Um, to. I'm glad that uh, you're here doing this on your own. <laughs> Without no professional help whatsoever, you're doing a great job. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. Appreciate it. We'll be back in a minute with an update. You going back up? No. Nice. All right, guys. More progress on the Fit Gen SS Turbo System. We're going to show you the downpipe set. Stupid air compressor. I literally just waited, what, five minutes for the air compressor yeah. to shut off. <laughs> <coughs> and it turns back on again unbelievable so he's got his oil line tapped right there it took a little finesse again we did have to cut i don't know if i said this in the last part we did have to cut the line about seven inches short i did say in the last part i did yeah i keep forgetting because i'm like inter i'm doing my thing and then i'm coming over yeah. to film what you're doing <laughs> so here's the downpipe the huron speed downpipe everything clears really 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 nice he already had a tap in uh the spacer here for his old turbo system which he just reused but he ended up going with a speed engineering exhaust system which was actually fit together really nice so um the huron speed setup comes back to this y right here and then the rest of it after that is the speed engineering now chandler did have to cut these pipes about what eight inches eight inches he had to cut eight inches of pipe off oh don't forget to tighten that yep. up too he had to cut about eight inches off of this for this system to fit on but this is meant for a stock oem setup so it should fit your OEM exhaust setup as well. So I just wanted to put that out there. That way you guys know what you're looking at. But this is the speed engineering setup and he bought that. So he, he brought that himself. Yeah. But everything looks good. But it does line up really good as you can see the downpipe and everything. Very, very nice. We are uh, actually, he's, did you get them all in? Yep, I got those all in. All the spark plugs are in. We're freaking close to starting this sucker up and hearing it run. What do you got left? You got uh, oil in it? Yeah, I got oil in it. So I got the uh, notes right here I made. Okay. So I got a zip tie on the wires away from the exhaust, run okay. the vacuum lines for the uh, blow off valve, run the vacuum lines for the wastegate. Waste we did put, what springs line. did we put in the wastegate? Uh, it was only 15 pounds? Was, You're uh, definitely 14, blowing it up. 14.5. Kaboom. Hey, it ran last time with the turbo. Wow, this is a it, this is a better setup than yeah. This is a much better setup than what you had. Yeah, but much better. It was reading from the front. So yeah, they, it wasn't reading from. The top. Yeah. Um, installed bumpers, installed wheels, and O2 sensors. And that's it. So O2 sensors would probably be the next thing. So you're gonna get that done while I continue working on my stuff, and then we'll be back with the next part of this video. You guys, you're, you're gonna see, you're gonna Possibly see this thing. Startup. 
Oh, you're gonna see a start. This thing's gonna fire up, dude. It's gonna fire up. Yeah, All right, guys. The moment you've all been waiting for, everything's pretty much done. We don't have a, the hoses hooked up on the blow -off valve or on the wastegate, but we don't need that for initial startup, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh, you ready to go, boss? You ready yeah. to see if this thing fires up and sucks your headlight through the turbo? Yeah. We'll just fire it up for a little bit. We just want to make sure it starts up and, and runs. <laughs> oh, we have an oil leakage. <laughs> well, fired up, which is good. Definitely good. <laughs> All right, you two, we are completely done with the install of the Huron Speed single mount turbo system. Chandler, give me your thoughts, sir. Pros and cons of this system. All right, pros. What do you think? Pros is a beautiful system. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> pros and cons of this system chandler pros it's a beautiful system you can <clears throat> sorry <laughs> okay we'll start over he had cock in his mouth hey, yeah yeah you put that in there you demonetize <laughs> chandler what are the pros and cons of this beautiful huron speed single turbo fit gen camaro system all right Pros, it's a beautiful system. You can do it in the weekend in your garage. Uh, the only thing I would highly adjust is jack your car all the way to get the oil pan out. Um, cons, replace the header bolts that come with it. Uh, switch to the hex heads instead of the Allen keys. Uh, the Allen keys literally took me three hours to remove one side. Um, it's like, I know you guys are saying like, oh, it took you three hours to remove, until you actually do it, it's, it takes you three hours just to remove those Allen keys. Uh, other than that, no, everything went smooth. Um, it, I have no complaints. It's time to get to the dyno now. Yes, definitely to the dyno. <laughs> and you guys will be seeing a future video of this beautiful, what is this, Spring Fresh it, Green? I mean, what is this? 2015 Spring Flash Edition. This spring year. Flash Edition. The Integra will be in a later video. Please subscribe. Shut that piece of shit off. Only Honda. Like, Only Hondas. That's, that's what I'm kidding. I know, right? Like, yeah. seriously. Unless it's on fire, I don't care. Yeah. Well, we can't have nice things. I know, right? Seriously. So, guys, obviously, great turbo system from Huron Speed. They make a great setup. It fits perfectly. A uh, few little things that need to be addressed, like, obviously, that... The Allen key bolts on the headers, I would obviously suggest, just like yeah, Chandler yeah. has, is to go with a hex head or a uh, 12 point. Yeah, or a 12 point. Bolt setup, ARPs, maybe some of that nature. Other than that, very good system, all together very well. Intercooler fits extremely well. You can basically not even, oh shit. You can basically not even see that uh, intercooler system at all. Sleeper. Like, you it really can't. If it was no, painted, and it's actually it's silver. Yeah. <clears throat> and during the daytime, you won't be able yeah, to see Yeah, so it. if it was painted black, if you would have got black, which you did not opt for, yeah. but if you would have got black, you wouldn't even know this Fit Gen had a single, what, 78 millimeter? Yeah. No. 78 millimeter turbo system on it at all. Yeah. You wouldn't even know it, other than the blow off valve and the wastegate and stuff like that. Oh, that's, that's if I pop the hood. <laughs> yeah, if you pop the hood, you you definitely know it, but it's a very, very easy system to put on. Um, obviously, Chandler dropped the um, oil pan to drill the hole, which we've seen previously yeah. in the video here. But uh, other than that, um, also the other thing, the spark plugs that come with this system, 
are very, very wires. long. Yes. Yeah, spark plug wires, I'm yes. sorry, they come with the system. They're very long. He opted to go with a GTO style spark plug wires and he heat wrapped some of them as well, as you can see. We're gonna see how that fares on the dyno. If they do burn up. I just got buy new ones and and he's going to have to wrap them. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting fine yes. sleeves. I will, I will you have sleeves. to wrap them, sleeve them. But obviously the kit comes with the longer um, spark plug wire setup to wrap around the headers and insulate and come up to the coil packs. So if you want to use them, that's great. If not, you can obviously go with what Chandler wanted to do, which is the uh, you know shorter GTO style spark plug wires, which is not a big deal. Yeah. But uh, final thoughts? Like... Are you excited? Yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm just ready to get. What is your horse, what is your horsepower goals? What do you think the things are gonna make? Now, mind you everybody, this does have the 15 pound springs in. Uh, so right we put now, the 15 pound springs eight in. Eight pounds right now. What is it? It's eight pounds right now. It's just to get home. Yeah, it's just to get oh, home. Oh, you put the eight pound yeah, springs I in? Yeah, put the eight pound springs Oh, in. so we had the 15 pounds, he took them out, put the eight pounds in. Yeah, so I, I will be changing them at the dyno to see if we can uh, put the 15. I would just do a dollar depth. Do the dollar death or actually boost control. Yeah. Uh, I like the ones inside, but they're pretty pricey. Uh, eventually, I'll get one. Um, it, yeah, this car is going to be on this channel more. We're going to end up doing head scams. Uh, Possibly fuel system. Fuel system. As well, and, yeah. You're going to need it eventually. You're going to yeah. need a fuel system. So. Hey, hair on speed if you want to. <laughs> with the system, I'm just saying, I'm saying. This could hey. be the new uh, new car channel. Yeah, Harold. You know? They follow me on yeah. TikTok. If, if you're on speed, you follow What's me your TikTok? If uh, you're on TikTok. I'm sorry, it's uh, Chandler Clark 5. Chandler Clark 5. Yeah. I will put that right here for you guys somewhere. So you can follow him on TikTok. Yeah. He will also be on Instagram right here as well. Yeah. So you guys can go follow Chandler and uh, keep updated with his progress on this vehicle as well, guys. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little segment of the Huron Speed single mount <laughs> turbo system on a fit gen. I almost said ZL1. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Fit Gen SS Camaro. If you own a 2010 <laughs> to 2015 Camaro SS, this system will work precisely for what your needs are. So you can have a very cheap car with a very competitive priced turbo system and uh, make some good horsepower. So hopefully do me a favor and subscribe, hit that notification bell, put it to all, and you guys will also see the dyno video of what this thing's gonna put down on what, eight pounds of boost, 15 pounds of boost, 45 pounds of boost. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're sending a piston through the sky. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine, guys. <laughs> All the beans. So go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> Hit that notification bell like usual. Hope you guys have a great night. And uh, other than that, guys, deuces. Peace.